Winter storm watch has been issued starting for tomorrow night. Not for the snow we have out there now. That's exiting the area. This is for the next potentially big player we have rolling toward us. We'll track it coming up. We're tracking conditions around the area and across the Commonwealth as crews work to clear the roads. While many people stayed home today, others had no choice but to brave the snow. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon. The first of two winter storms taking aim at Kentucky arrived early this morning. Bill Bryan and Barbara Bailey for WKYT. It certainly did arrive, and since it's been so cold, it didn't take long for snow to coat area roads. This is a live look at conditions in Lexington. You can see there's still plenty of slush out there in the Eastland Parkway area. The snow's been coming pretty steadily all morning. Challenging travel out there. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell is here with an update on this WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. And a very similar scene even right here in front of the station out along Winchester Road as crews are out battling and it's just hard to keep up, especially with the rate that this snow was coming down a little while ago. But you notice here in our picture, still seeing a few flakes flying, but not quite as intense as it was a little earlier. And there's Winchester Road and you can see the snow covering it and of course uh, the driveway leading up to the station here as well coming in on that side. Here's what the snow looks like now. The main bands of this are now exiting central Kentucky. Now what we're going to run into will be a few more flakes like we're seeing out there now on the back side of this before the main energy completely exits the area. Our friends in eastern Kentucky, you're still dealing with it and you've got a few more hours of the snow before it's all said and done. And track what was going on around here in central Kentucky, still holding on uh, to some of the heavier bands there across parts of Clark County, even into Madison County. But again, it is moving out of town. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch things up because we've got another system that will likely roll into the area starting late tomorrow night going into early on Friday morning. This one could have an even bigger impact throughout the area. I'll track it a little more in detail and show you some of the latest data coming out here in just a few minutes, guys. All right, see you then. Yeah, you have our attention, certainly. The snow arrived just in time for the morning commute. Right on cue, and while road crews have been out trying to stay ahead of the snow today, there are still some slick spots out there, and it has caused dozens of crashes. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain begins our first alert weather team coverage in Lexington with more on those road conditions. Michelle. Yeah, we just saw some road crews out here and the snow continues to fall in Lexington. And with that accumulating snowfall leaves us some dangerous roadways out here. According to Lexington police, there have been more than 70 non-injury accidents since 6 o'clock this morning. Police tell me major roads here in Lexington are clearing up, but there are still some slick spots out there. It's the side roads you really need to be cautious on when driving. Lexington police say they've handled several incidents of cars sliding off the side of roads. Shalonda Gay of Lexington knows firsthand just how dangerous these roads are today. She was in a fender bender earlier this morning at the intersection of Laredo Drive and Walden Drive, just off of Takes Creek Road. My tires just didn't even, they didn't even stop. They just kept going. So then I had to put the emergency brake on because we were still sliding. So just be safe out in the streets right now because it's pretty cold and slick. It's dangerous. Could have been worse. Yeah, it is slick out there and just be safe. If you're one of the people who have to be on the road today, please ask that you drive cautiously, slowly, and just be careful. Live in Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. And it is a similar story, maybe a little bit tougher, just to our south in Richmond. Snow created a slow commute and led to a few crashes there. WKYT's Hillary Thornton continues our first alert weather team coverage live now from Madison County. Hey there, Barb and Bill. You can see a snow covered downtown Richmond out here behind me. Move, cars are moving cautiously here along Main Street. This is what most of the major roadways look at this point. While the lanes are visible right now, there are still some very heavy patches of snow and slush. Early this morning, as the snow started falling and covering the roadway, there were a few minor crashes along Interstate 75. Then just about an hour ago, crews cleared an injury crash out on Berea Road. 
But besides that, the sheriff's office says there have not been any major problems. It is a light and powdery snow, something folks clearing away driveways and windshields say they are thankful for. Some families bundled up to brave the cold temperatures so they could get out and enjoy the snow, something they were beginning to wonder if they'd see this winter. I didn't know if we were ever going to get any snow or, you know, or anything. Uh, it's been some wild weather, though, lately. It seems like it, it, when it comes, it comes hard, and, you know, and then when, it, then when it's supposed to be cold, it's hot. And Now we do have one traffic alert to pass along that has come in just within the past 30 minutes here in Madison County. It's out on Interstate 75. The northbound lanes around the 84 mile marker are shut down right now due to what we are told are several jackknifed semi trucks. We'll keep you updated on the status of that here on air and over on WKYT.com. For now, live in Richmond, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Okay, so uh, again, heads up I-75 northbound at the 84 mile marker that is in between Duncannon Lane and the Eastern Bypass exit. All now, right. the, the farther south you go, the more snow you likely have. While students and others can stay home today, not everybody has that option. WKYT's Phil Pendleton continuing our team coverage with a look at how one woman is braving the snow in Lincoln County. Well, I am standing at the intersection of Highway 27 and Kentucky 1781. This is one of the areas where police say just a little while ago there was a minor accident. It appears that many people are heeding the advice to stay off the roads, as I've seen very few people out braving the elements this morning. But some people have to get out in it anyway. Carol Spa works for the U.S. Post Office in Stanford. Just getting into her car is part of the challenge, but then she has to maneuver through it. She had some help cleaning the snow and ice off her car this morning. Then it was off to deliver all the letters and the boxes. She says she loves her job, even though the weather can make it very difficult. It's, it's really treacherous out here right now. It's dangerous. But you enjoy this. Talk I love it. I love my, my job. Why, why do you love being a postal carrier? Um, the people. I really enjoy the people. They're really, really nice. The snow has been coming down almost nonstop for the last couple of hours. A brief reprieve at 8 o'clock. Let's just see how much snow we have here. We'll take the WKYT Rules Winter Ruler. And you see there, there's about two inches of snow in Lincoln County. Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you for one man in Perry County. His morning was spent outside working in the frigid weather conditions. Jamie Messer begins his work before 7 o'clock outside in the mornings, ending anywhere between noon and 2 in the afternoon. He says some folks make working in these conditions a little easier because of their generosity. I'm out in the cold. They'll bring me a coffee, whatever, you know, try to help me out, you know, so eat anything. They try to help me. He looked very cold, and we like to do things for nice people when we can. Messer says the coffee helps him stay warm along with going to work prepared by dressing in layers. Well, the viewers have been helping us cover snow around the area. We received this picture from Liberty showing the bypass snow covered. Another viewer sent us this picture from Knox County. You can see how snow has blanketed the, blanketed the area there. And check out this shot from Somerset where there are about three inches of snow at Cave Run Marina. All these pictures came to us via Twitter, and we thank you. Stay on top of the snow and traffic with the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores. A man wanted in a Lexington murder has died in Ohio. Dayton police say 21-year-old Kenyon Hips shot himself in the head last night. We're told that it happened in the back seat of a car where he sat as officers spoke to three people who had just gotten out of it. Lexington police have been looking for Hips along with Marquis Smith and three juveniles in the murder of 18-year-old Caleb, Caleb Hallett back on January 9th. Smith and one of the juveniles remain on the run. The daughter of a man hit and killed by a police officer has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Howard Robbins died in the crash on January 15th of last year on U.S. 150 in Lincoln County. State police say Stanford police officer Travis Richardson was speeding when he hit Robbins. Richardson was fired from his job in September. The Advocate Messenger reports the suit named Richardson, the police chief, the mayor, and the city of Stanford.
Well, the search for a missing man is over. 23 year old David Pence has been found. He disappeared from Verna Drive in Clark County last night. The Winchester Sun reports Pence was found safe at a friend's house in Lexington. Jessamine County will soon be home to the state's fourth needle exchange program. The Jessamine Journal reports the county fiscal court approved the program at last night's meeting. The program will be held once a week, allowing addicts to get clean needles. Good to have you with us on WKYT News at noon. An attack in Pakistan kills at least 20 people. We'll show you where gunmen targeted the victims. Also ahead on Kentucky's number one midday news, a woman wasn't going to let carjackers make her a victim. How she fought back ahead. And we are still tracking some snow, especially out in eastern Kentucky. But another system is coming. We're going to track that here in about five ten minutes. Thank you for once again making WKYT your most watched television station. There is a difference in local news, and you help us prove it every day. Thank you. WKYT stands for Kentucky. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. It's the grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery at Burke Furniture. Southern Motion is the industry leader in power motion furniture, featuring the adjustable power head and footrests. The grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery. Just one more reason you're going to love Burke Furniture. Hi, I'm Lori McCreary, and I started my business three years ago. As a business owner, there's always this balance of great customer service, as well as being able to provide a really good product. Not everybody has both. I knew that I could trust in traditional bank to help us figure it out, make the right decision, and then just come up with the funding that can help us really just grow and innovate. Traditional bank is truly passionate about what they do for their customers and what they do for us, and it's seen every day when I walk in the door. Well, if you got it to burn, you don't have to worry about siding, windows, or insulation. But if you'd like to give your home an energy upgrade and be comfortable in your own home, call us about the Ultimate Wall System right now. One inch plus of contoured foam fused to the siding guaranteed not to pull apart during our Winter Wonderland sale. Call now for winter savings on new siding, 100% financing, low monthly payments. And if you act now, we'll pay your February heating bill with the purchase of a complete siding job. Call America's Window for a free estimate. Up to now, affording a beautiful smile has been, well, sketchy. So picture this. Doctors Durbin, Walks, and Garner are offering an unheard of offer. No down payment and only $175 for 24 months on orthodontic treatment. It's their way of saying thank you. Clear Choice Orthodontics is an elite provider of Invisalign. Offers digital imaging, clear porcelains, and accepts most insurance. Affordable orthodontic treatment. Now that's something to smile about. Learn more at clearchoicesmile.com. It's the grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery at Burke Furniture. Southern Motion is the industry leader in power motion furniture, featuring the adjustable power head and footrests. The grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery. Just one more reason you're going to love Burke Furniture. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon, where we are watching a worldwide story develop. Gunmen stormed a university in Pakistan today, killing 20 people. Now, the victims included students and a professor. Tina Krause shows us what happened. Ambulances rushed victims to a hospital in northwestern Pakistan after a deadly terror attack on a university campus. But for some people, it was too late. Police say four Taliban militants scaled the walls of the university compound just after classes began, shooting their way past a security guard before opening fire on students and staff. Many of the victims were reportedly shot in the head, execution style. <laughs> Student Kashif John says he hid under his desk and heard gunmen shouting, God is great. Pakistani security forces say they killed four terrorists after a gun battle that went on for hours. The university sits in a lawless region of Pakistan near the volatile border with Afghanistan, not far from where Taliban fighters hit another school in 2014. That assault in Peshawar killed more than 150 people, mostly children. Tina Krause, CBS News. 
Now, a local Taliban leader is claiming responsibility for today's attack, saying it's revenge for Pakistan's military operations against militants. The terror organization's official spokesman is disowning the group, saying the assault was un Islamic. Well, a woman wasn't going to let carjackers take her without a fight. Surveillance video shows the woman fighting off the suspects at a gas station in Florida. The attempted carjacking happened earlier in the week. Police caught up with the man yesterday. Police say it is the second car that the group tried to steal. A winter storm rolled through Kentucky early this morning. You know about that, right? Yeah, I know all about it. You know all about it. Barb knows all about it. And you at home know about it because this is the first one. The second one is coming for Thursday night into Friday, possibly the Saturday. It's going to bring more snow. Maybe too much. We'll track it. Coming up. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For almost 30 years, we've represented hundreds of thousands of people and have collected billions of dollars in settlements and verdicts for things that were wrongfully taken from our client, their health and loved ones, financial security and peace of mind, standing up for people, bringing those to justice who did them wrong. We fight bullies and rule breakers for a living. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org. What's that one thing? That one thing that can make you feel good, help the environment, and pay you cash back? It's Simple Saver. Simple Saver does all that, and all it takes to start is one click. Or one call. <laughs> Getting paid to be energy smart. That's one good idea. A message from your Kentucky Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. It's official. Green's Toyota of Lexington is Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer for the fourth year in a row. We're celebrating all month long with amazing deals on our entire inventory. 0% APR on Toyota's most popular models. 1.9% APR on all certified pre-owned Toyotas. Plus, save $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Come in and let us show you our appreciation for making us Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Great people. Great cars. Great Green's. Game days are here, and Perry's American Furniture has everything you need to celebrate with the cats in style. TV consoles and entertainment centers. Dining tables. A comfy couch to watch the game on. Come see us at Perry's American Furniture Gallery, 1176 Industry Road. Come to the 21st Annual Toyota Classic, January 20th through the 23rd at Scott County High School. Tickets are $6 at the door. Go to toyotaclassic.com for more details. Well, if you got it to burn, you don't have to worry about siding, windows, or insulation. But if you'd like to give your home an energy upgrade, be comfortable in your own home, call us about the ultimate wall system right now. One inch plus of contoured foam fused to the siding guaranteed not to pull apart during our winter wonderland sale. Call now for winter savings on new siding, 100% financing, low monthly payments. And if you act now, we'll pay your February heating bill with the purchase of a complete siding job. Call America's Window for a free estimate. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Snow continuing to fly out there across central and eastern Kentucky here on this first alert severe weather day. The reason that it is because of this right here. Snow that we've been tracking since very early this morning causing problems here in Lexington for the morning commute. And now what we're going to see is it ending from west to east across Kentucky, starting right now here in central Kentucky. It'll end. If it hasn't ended in your area yet, it will within the next couple of hours. And then it continues to work through eastern Kentucky, where if you look, uh, this is along the Mountain Parkway near Slade. If you're familiar with it, Parkway looks rough at the moment, but the crews are out battling it because when I first started looking at this camera about 10 minutes ago, you couldn't see the road, and now they're out there working hard to get that clear. So the path from folks in eastern Kentucky to central Kentucky is starting to clear up at least one of them. There you see that snow, the heavier bands now working their way through that area down the mountain parkway. There you see it's still covered up with snow as far as what's falling from the sky. 
and that leads from the beginning of the parkway all the way down to the end, or where it currently ends there in uh, Salyersville. So we track that snow. We track a little bit more along the Hal Rogers Parkway, parkway as well, from uh, Manchester Hyden into Hazard, dealing with some of that, and over into Harlan as well. You can see once we get closer to 75, uh, so the southern sections of it there into uh, parts of Laurel and uh, Whitley County, we're tracking that as well. Some snow, snow flying along I-75. There's Clay Ferry Bridge. You can see. Not Nice and clear at the moment. Still some snow hanging out, so be careful if you have to travel anywhere out there. We get on up the park, or not the parkway, I've said parkway so many times it's stuck in my head. We go on up the interstate, and you can see still dealing with a little bit of snow here and there. Closer to Lexington, though, traffic is moving along okay, as you see with our map, but the problem is still snow flying out there. Same case as you get uh, closer to uh, Paris Pike as well. Hour by hour forecast will start at this evening, and you can see the snow is wrapping up, especially by that point. Watch what happens as we go through the overnight into the day tomorrow. We'll likely see a little bump in temperatures above freezing in many cases. And then tomorrow night, early on Friday morning, that mixing line tries to break out, works its way into the area. We get into about 11 o'clock, right before the noon news comes on on Friday, and we're tracking that wintry mix and some snow with this model run at least. We're going to watch and see where this sets up. It's going to make all the difference in the world because. It'll cut off some of those snowfall totals. There you see it making it transition back over to snow, and some of it heavy at times. Now, winter storm watch has already been issued for the area. Now, this will change. This will go to some, might go to some type of advisory. Winter storm warning. We'll see what happens. That starts tomorrow night through Saturday morning. Instead of trying to show you multiple maps, what I've done is I put the models up on this simple graph, and you can see, you like that. Thank you, Buzz. I appreciate that. You can see the different models. The three of them that we use the GFS, the NAM, the Euro. You hear us talk about them all the time. And you can see where they're spitting out. Some of the high ends coming in better than a foot with the GFS, a little bit lower than that, coming in just better than eight inches. That's for Lexington now. I could only do one location with that type of data coming in. But you see the seven day forecast action packed all the way into the weekend. Yeah. Action packed. Well, I'm for the right. yellow, yellow line on that one. <laughs> I might be too. Oh, we can vote. <laughs> I like it. I like that. Uh, keep it here on WKYT in just a moment. Uh, who's on top of the SEC? It might surprise you. And it was a special night in Corbin. Dave Baker has four cents. Checking stocks as we head into afternoon trading. Wow, the major market indicators are way down at midday. New tonight, they may be social climbers. These can't be VIP seats. Not that bad. Then why is that guy shaving? But they're still broke girls to us. It's almost your shift. Why haven't you changed into your uniform? It's almost spring. Why haven't you changed into a butterfly? A new two broke girls. Then when it comes to a killer dinner party, nobody kills it like Molly. Must have been giving you nitroglycerin. Because you look dynamite. A new Mike and Molly right after a new two broke girls. CBS Tonight. The word of the day is winterize, which simply means to prepare for cold winter weather. And if you're tired of those cold and comfortable drafts in your home in the wintertime, let us install the ultimate wall system on your home. One inch plus of contoured foam fused to the siding guaranteed not to pull apart. Look at a house without it. See those ugly gaps and seams? Let's the cold air in in the wintertime. Look at the ultimate wall system. Virtually no seams. Call in now, right here in Lexington, anywhere in the sound of my voice at 1 800 861 4153. You're going to eliminate painting chores, have the best looking house on the block, take advantage of our winter wonderland sale. Call now for winter savings on new siding for your home. 100% financing, low monthly payments, and look at this you act now and we'll pay your February heating bill with a complete siding job. Or you can come by and see us at 1190 East New Circle Road, right here in Lexington, or call 1 800 861 4153. Hey, Joe, how you doing with your new hearing aids? Hey, Marty, they're great. I just wish I'd done it sooner. If you play the TV too loudly or if listening in some situations has become difficult, you're needed to participate in a special program called the 10 Day Challenge. You'll receive a complete hearing test and evaluation absolutely free. Come on and be one of the 100 participants and take the 10 Day Challenge. Hearing Solutions, helping you listen to what you're missing. Grab my lipstick. Hey, what are you doing? Getting the coats. For a half hour? Bob just got Time Warner Cable. He's getting more. More what? More than 25,000 movies and shows on demand, most for free. Look, he's DVRing like six shows at once. Let's go. Oh, this grass is so much greener than on our TV. Wear your shoes off. Because I'm on their bed. I don't want to be rude. 
Discover how much more is included. Are those meatballs still circulating? Get TV, internet, and phone for $89.99 per month, only from Time Warner Cable. Integrity. Character. Dedicated. Committed to service. To serve and to protect. We are the men. The, the women. women. The present. And the future. The office of the Fayette County Sheriff. Join our team. I'm WKYT Sam Dick, and I stand for Kentucky. Kentucky was the preseason pick to repeat as SEC champs, but a former Murray State coach, Billy Kennedy, has the Aggies rolling. Texas A&M all the way up to number eight in the latest AP poll last night. A win over LSU and Ben Simmons would have huge implications. Early second half down to Craig Victor. Misses inside, but there's Ben Simmons with a tip. Game tied at 47, held to 10 points, 11 boards. Under 12 to go, A&M up five. Alex Caruso to Jalen Jones for the finish. Jones has been a beast. He had 20. And then, how about the three-pointer, J.D. Hogg. I'm sorry, that's D.J. Hogg, not J.D. And then under 30 to go, Anthony Collins. The quick pass to Jones, who takes it home for the basket and the dunk. Aggies win by 14. They're 16-2 and overall, 6-0 in the SEC, two games clear of everybody else. For the Cats, then, almost a must-win at Arkansas tomorrow night. The Hogs coming off a two-point loss Saturday night to whom? LSU. It's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night on ESPN. Speaking of the SEC, the league is not only winning titles, but boy, are they making some money. According to tax returns, the SEC, $527 million in revenue for the fiscal year that just ended in August. That's the first year the league has received money from the SEC network and the college football playoff system. That is a 60% increase over the previous year. Mike Slive, who retired as SEC commissioner in July, was paid $3.6 million in his final year with the league. That's 75% more than he was paid in 2013, and he deserved every penny of it. Finally, really cool last night in Corbin, a celebration for Red Hound and U.K. football legend Roger Bird. He played in two Super Bowls with the Oakland Raiders. And this year, to celebrate Super Bowl 50 that you'll see right here on WKYT, the NFL sending players and coaches from all the previous games back to their high schools to present a specially made gold football in their name. You know, I think they appreciated it. And uh, I think the fact that, uh, you know, we're back in Corbin and the kids are just absolutely uh, going crazy. You know, giving me hugs and so forth, and it, it's a pleasure to be back. Great inscription, part of Super Bowl history. Tonight on the Big Blue Insider with Dick Gabriel, the Insider's Roundtable, live from the cellar with former UK assistant Doug Barnes, WKYT's Brent Carney, and former Wildcat Jeremy Jarman. That's all at 6 on 630 WLAP. Coming up a little bit later, John Calipari talks about the Hogs. Matthew Mitchell talks about his, team, uh, his team's trip to Ole Miss. More on that coming up throughout the day. But for now, that's a look at sports on this Wednesday, guys. All right. Great to hear from Roger Bird. Thank you, Dave. We appreciate it. And there's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. We are tracking snow as it moves through Kentucky. We'll have an update on the forecast calling for more of it coming up next. Drivers are sliding off slick roads in Franklin County. We're taking a look at road conditions coming up. Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $39 million. And tonight's Powerball jackpot is $50 million. 